What's going on folks and welcome to another scum video how we doing this is development update number two now there's a few things I'd like to go through and a few things that the developers would like me to put out there as well so we're going to start off with the female characters we're going to jump straight in here so as you can see in the pictures I'm providing on the on the video there you can see that the female characters are in development now and they have to adjust every piece of clothing to fit the characters model as well especially obviously the female characters model and this is going to take a little bit of time. Now, it would be nice to actually see these females with some hair or something. You know, make them look a little bit female. But then again, it's a prison island, so what do we expect? They'll probably have their hair all shaved off anyway. Um, so that's that part on the female characters. There is no date to say when these are coming in. Um, but they will be in, obviously, when they're ready. Now, as you can see, there is some taunts that are going to be coming in. Some new taunts here that you can see on the images provided. Um, some of these are quite funny. <laughs> And uh, I don't really use these too much in game. You don't really have too much time to use these before uh, before you get shot. But these are still quite fun as well, especially for the PvE side of things. Just having a laugh and that. Um, right, so this is something that I would like to get into a little bit. The developers have asked me to say that the base buildings, um, the base building which you can see there in the photo, is not going to be for some time because they need to get everything developed for it and how it's going to be protected, constructed. Um, etc maintained and all that good stuff as well now they would like me to say that they're not ignoring base fortification so obviously the, the buildings that you can fortify in towns and that they are not ignoring that that's actually a big part of the game with a lot of other things coming in soon um, so they would they, so they did ask me to uh, to mention that so they're not ignoring base fortifications the base building is a separate part of the whole base system and the structures for the game as well so obviously you've got the base building you've got base fortifications so you know you're going to have the two different types of base building um, and there's a few really cool pictures in there you can see the deer stands kind of extended you can have them inside so you can look out to snipe uh, etc and all that good stuff hopefully they can really get these places protected uh, and maybe even have them logs high enough so people can't climb over it, you know, because at the moment that kind of looks like an issue unless you can put something like barbed wire on the top of it or something like that. That would be pretty interesting too. Um, now, there is something really cool coming in and it will change the way sort of your character looks, etc. You know, it's going to change that aspect because it's nice it's nice that we've got the uh, metabolism system so we're all different in our own little way we all have our own different play styles but having our own look as well is something that's going to be quite unique um, and interesting to say the least so we have the hair uh, as you guys can see there in the photos we've got their new hairs coming in etc which is really going to sort of make that it's just it's so annoying seeing a bald character every time everyone looks the same you know it's kind of like technically we are biomechanically engineered to some extent um but it's nice to have that extra, you know, um, additional feature so we can sort of have our unique look, etc. So it'd be great to see a load of new hairstyles into putting the customer creation menu um, so we can all look a little bit different. Um, now, there is something in regards to the sound. Right now, they're working on redesigning the car sounds and adding the suppressed weapon fire. We're also working hard on getting back the radio we had before. For now, it looks good. Who knows? Besides awesome music, maybe you'll hear something intriguing. So I don't know what that's all about right now. I can't elaborate on that until um, all that comes in. But here's something pretty cool. There's no images of this yet, but this is something pretty cool. They've they've stated here, I quote, as you already know, we've recently added 20-ish new islands around the main island. So now we're working on the underwater caverns to go with our maritime theme. However, before we add that to the game, we still need to finish up the sailing and diving skill. So obviously we've got the sailing skill coming in, the diving skill. They've obviously got the rafts that are going to be coming in so you can get to these islands. And then they're going to be they're, then they're going to start working on the actual boats and the proper sailing skill so you can actually do all these things. And then you've got the diving skill, which I didn't even know there was a diving skill. That's completely new for me. Um, but to be able to go underwater to the caverns, etc., you could have a base that's under the sea. Really, really, like, kept away from anywhere, so no one's really going to see that. That is really cool. Um, so going back to the base building system, it's going to be more of a blueprint, style st a blueprint style thing. Now, if any of you guys remember armor, where you can click the items um, into each other so they fit each other like that, it's going to be that kind of system. And they actually said, I quote, a Lego-style way, unquote, and this is, this is the kind of area, the way they want to go with the building system. Because building systems are very, very difficult. And they have to get that right if it's going to be 
if it's going to be easy for us to use and an easy system to build, etc. But I'm not sure how that's going to work with the fame points or if you literally have to craft everything, which if you crafted everything would be a lot better in my opinion. That's sort of how it would go. Now, going on to the respawn system, they've actually added a bit on the respawn because there's a lot of people, including myself, who don't like the spawn on squad for an open world survival. It's kind of like, you know, you... you Every time I've, I mean, I've got a lot of bounds in the game, but every time I seem to get into a gunfight, we, we kill a player or something, you know, there's two or three and their mates are coming back constantly. And it's like, you know, you're not going to gonna get their gear unless there's like 10 of you and three of them. Um, but they said, I quote, for the moment, we're still playing around with different options. But for now, this is the plan. Adding cooldowns to respawn options that we already have. Cooldowns will differ depending on how precise they are for now. It would look like the shortest cooldown would have random, sector, shelter squad mate also the idea is to disable respawn on squad mate if he is in combat so you cannot go back and respawn on a squad if that squad member is still in combat now i don't know how they're going to work out with the times maybe a five minute cooldown or something so you're better off just doing a sector spawn or something like that to get back into the battle that is something they should do and that's really interesting that's something i really like like the sound of because the respawn system is a big big deal and they really need to fix that because, you know, people want a fair fight. They want to have fun with it. The fame points could just be used for, um, you know, building systems, etc. But everyone's got a different opinion on the respawns. It's a very sensitive subject that we all have our opinions on. But for an open world, I do believe once you're dead, you're dead sort of thing. But this is up to the devs. They're doing a great job. There's just a few tweaks they need to make. Now, guys, I love getting into a conversation, so please don't forget to leave any comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates and the latest content with Scum. I do my best to try and get it out there. If I'm at work, then I have to wait until a few days or something that I can make the video, but I will put as many out as I can when I hear about them. Now, just as an additional... Um, update today there was a hot fix today 19th so basically this update says we fixed the doors that couldn't be opened bathroom stalls the coal mine elevator if you run into any others please report them to us and also fix the client crash which was occurring due to the drone bug so now everything should go back to normal that is it that is literally the update so that there's a lot of people complaining about doors that they can't open and the fact uh, people was getting certain errors when going into the game. Well, them errors were due to the admin drone. Something to do with the lights being on or the lights being off. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I hope that helps, guys. I hope you enjoyed today. Please don't forget to thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. Please share. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe.